As a neurologist, about 30% of the patients I see every day in my office are patients with memory impairment, dementia, Alzheimer's disease. And as a neurologist, there's a certain workup we do to try to find a cause for the disorder. But at the very end, we're left with just putting patients on drugs. And these medications will slow the progression of the disease. On rare occasion, we can get some improvement even with the memory impairment, but generally just continues to deteriorate over time. So basically with medications, we're just trying to buy time, hoping for the future some other medication will come out to help. I found many, many years ago that hyperbaric oxygen therapy offers a phenomenal potential to improve cognitive impairment. I've had patients who uh, could not recall simple facts, could not do simple uh, uh, activities of daily living, uh, personal hygiene, remember where they put things down, uh, ask the same questions repeatedly, not recalling what they did yesterday or, or the day before. And then we started treating these patients with hyperbaric oxygen therapy. And we noticed, even after a few sessions, the facial expressions even change from being a, a we call flat affect, meaning expressionless, uh, to all of a sudden they're smiling. And then the spouse will say something like, you know, before my, my spouse was only saying a word or two, yes, no, or two word sentences. And then all of a sudden they're speaking in, in long sentences, paragraphs recalling what, was, what they did the day before, or even sometimes calling out their caregiver for not remembering how to do something, which is actually that's kind of funny that they're, that they're uh, keying up on the, uh, the caregiver. Uh, hyperbaric therapy, particularly for memory problems, increases the amount of blood supply to the brain that's been impaired. You've heard of vascular dementia, which means the blood supply to the brain is deteriorating. Many times we see this with, with people that have blood pressure, diabetes, um, even people with head trauma will have memory impairment. And with hyperbaric oxygen therapy, we increase the amount of circulation to the brain, thus turning on parts of the brain that were not functioning and allowing the patient to uh, regain a lot of the functions that believe they lost. There are a couple of studies done recently. One was uh, in Israel where they did a, a large study with Alzheimer's patients with hyperbaric therapy and they did very well. Uh, there's a physician in uh, Louisiana who, at LSU who did a, a study with Alzheimer's patients and he also saw improvement. So it's not just me who sees the improvement, it is other clinicians doing hyperbaric therapy as well. And it's a modality that if you, if you only take the medications that provided, that's provided to you, you will kind of slow down the progression, while hyperbaric therapy can give you improvement over the level that you started with and maintain you for a longer period of time which brings back a lot of joy to the family and to the patient himself. So when you're told that, look, you have this memory problem that's incurable and you have to learn to live with it and tough, tough it up and just, you know, this is the way life is, don't listen to them. There is a potential for improvement. I have seen it. And a lot of our patients who improve uh, go on to lead a happier, rest of their life. So consider this as an, as an opportunity to, in, to change the course of your life that otherwise may not have been as good.